Hi friends, Suzanne here. Welcome to another Fabricate Friday video on my YouTube channel and blog. For today's project is a card holder box. You may not know this, but for the years that I've been on YouTube, every single, the beginning of the year, I make a card holder box and this is the one I'm making. So don't look at, this is kind of ugly. <laughs> this is the prototype. So I have since worked out how prettily I can make this and this detail is going and the, the box is going to be uh, a little bit smaller uh, than this, but you would be able to fit several cards with envelopes inside and then be able to put it on your shelf like that without this ugly detail. <laughs> I was playing around, so I didn't want to, I don't have a lot of uh, chipboard, so I will just use the stuff that I have. So anyway, this is going to be the craft that we are going to do today. If you wish to follow along, you may. So what you're gonna need is some, this is chipboard. You can see, I will put some light on here. Uh, this comes in the back of specialty designer series papers. As you can see, this is a 12 by 12 piece and I have cut it down. We need two pieces. So this is going to be the front and the back of our like card book. I'm going to get my measurements out. So you're going to need to cut your chipboard down to five inches by six and a half. And then your pattern paper, which is this, is going to be six by seven and a half. So I'm just going to start here. So what we're going to want to do is place this piece in the center of our paper. Now you can use whatever adhesive you like. I'm going to use glue on some and I'm going to use tear tape on some. So basically you want about a half inch border. So I'm going to do the same to this side. I'm smearing the glue right to the edge. The designer series paper that I am using today is called Delicate Desert. And it is a 12 by 12 designer series paper, has this soft color, and it also has really nice uh, funky colors for inside. And just look at this, it's so pretty. Well, I wish I had more of that piece. Now what we're gonna do before we get all excited, you wanna make sure that uh, which is the, this is going to be my front piece and this is going to be my back piece. All right. What we're going to do is we need another piece of chipboard. So this is the spine, two inches by six and a half. And we are going to, I'm going to apply glue right along this edge. I'm gonna leave a little bit of breathing room right here though. All right. Just with an extra piece of chipboard, I'm going to hold a place here. 
So, and then I'm going to place this one right up against it. Basically, it's, it's like those, it's a spacer. Okay, I'm gonna do one piece at a time. So I'm gonna make sure that that spacer fits in there. And I wanna make sure that my piece is caught. All right, so that looks pretty good. The spacer can move freely. And it looks like that. Got a little bit of squeeze out. That's okay, we're gonna have another piece covering that. I'm gonna do the same to this side. I'm gonna have my little spacer butt that up against it. Make sure that it's even. All right, I'm going to come in now and I'm gonna do the edges. Again, right to the very end. I'll start with this side. All right, so right here, I'm going to be adhering this next corner you see, and I'm going to try to miter the edges. Now you can miter them out by chopping them like off on an angle, but the thing is I found that it wasn't very clean looking. So what I'm gonna do is I sort of folded it where I can see it and I'm able to adhere. And we're gonna get another piece of uh, paper over top too. Oh, that, that one worked a little bit better. This one has a little bit of a gap. I get my bone folder out and just gonna press down. Okay, so we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, now we have this, the whole back done. Uh, we're gonna put some designer series paper. So that is just a strip of, uh, this is seven and a half by one and three quarters. And this part is gonna go um, up here-ish. So again, this is one and, hang on, let me double check. One and seven eighths by seven and a half. Okay, I'm gonna remove the release paper and then I'm gonna put some more adhesive on the short ends. All 
All right. I'm going to, I can see where to place. All right, I'm gonna take this little bit here because there's no glue on it. I'm cutting it. I'm just gonna finish this edge off a little bit, folding it back. And then I'll put a little wet glue on that side and on that side. And I'll do the same for this. All right. So you can now see the reason why we wanted to actually have um, a little spacer in there was so that we could open and close the binding of the book. So at this point, you could do whatever you wanted. I have shown you the sort of the basis of what I would like to do. Um, so I do have some unsightly seams and you know how much I dislike unsightly seams. So this is some uh, foil and I have adhesive on the back and made little strips. So I'm going to use one little strip and <clears throat> I'm going to go over the end and basically tidying up. That's why I don't didn't really care that there was a gap because I knew that I was going to fix it. And then I will just trim off the excess from the back. And I think I will do the same for my bits here. I just have to make sure that I have the exact same size. I'm always going to leave a little overhanging so I can tuck it on in the inside. Okay. Well, that looks lovely. Much better than the other one. 
All right, so now all we have to do is affix this paper. That looks great. I think, yeah, I like it. All right. Okay, and you do want to take a baby wipe and clean up any squeeze out because if you're using the green glue, it will remain tacky if it's uh, visible. And so basically you just want to edge uh, or like coax this paper <laughs> like that. Now, if you wanted to add ribbon, you could add ribbon inside here, inside the lip. And I actually forgot to, I was gonna do so, so I bet you it's too late now. Yep, maybe if um, I will figure something else out, but I, I mean, I think it's pretty awesome the way it is. All right, so all now we have to do is create our box on the inside. All right, so we're gonna cut down one piece of paper to uh, eight inches by nine and a quarter inches. And we're going to score at one and three quarters on each side. I'm using Calypso Coral here. Okay, and this is just a quick box built. Um, and you have seen these boxes I've made before. So we go up on the score line and we wedge out on both sides. Up on the score line and wedge on both sides. And I'm just going to use my fast fuse because I literally cannot be bothered with sticky green glue right now. All right, so I go along the score line and along that free edge. And then you're just bringing this free edge up to this score line. And you do that to all the corners. It's 
It's all about craftsmanship. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is adhere this box to the inside. All right, so I'm going to put, uh, I might as well get the green glue out. Happy New Year, folks. Yes, that is very pretty. I love it. Huzzah. So really, although this looks pretty finished um, and difficult, it actually wasn't uh, too bad if we go step by step. And let me just see how many cards I can fit in here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I don't have any more cards said a card maker. Well, eight cards with uh, an obscene amount of envelopes. Envelopes fit in there too. Look how much room I have. I could put, um, I don't know, a whole bunch of uh, stickers or stamps. Could I put a pen in there? I could stick a pen in there. Um, I could stick some adhesive in there. <laughs> anyway, you see what I'm saying? This is a really big box that will hold a lot of cards and uh, you can write your year on here if you want. And um, I'm not gonna decorate this at all because it's gonna go in the sleeve of my bookshelf. I love this idea because sometimes I have a lot of cards and sometimes I wanna keep them safe and uh, I like the paper too. So when you create with your paper, like look at how gorgeous that paper is. Oh, so pretty. Um, I'm going to redo this one. I did not like the design, um, but I really like this design. So finished, so nice. Uh, maybe this could be a gift for somebody and you can say, hey, you know, uh, to you, I think you're great. Here's some cards to send me on my birthday. <laughs> anyway. Hope you liked this uh, little tutorial. Um, as I said, it's my tradition and I've done it every single year to make a card holder box and I have done so. This could be a writing thing too if you just wanted to put in like, you know, those uh, note cards with someone's initials on the top, that would be cool too. This is an addendum. So this was my prototype and I fixed it up. Um, I've put new paper on the inside. I corrected the ugly back. So it looks very much like this one, but I have a closure on this one. I wanted to share with you how I did that. So I have, let's see here, um, 10, 20, about 26 inches of ribbon. And this ribbon is called, this was the crumb cake and red ribbon that's in the new catalog. Um, it's really actually very nice. So what I'm gonna do, just open up my little box here. Um, I actually made, just a, another note, I made this particular box two inches high, where I only made this one one and three quarters inches high. So on my blog, if you wanted to make this the two inch version, um, we just need to make it, um, it was eight and a half by nine and three quarters scored at two on all sides. But anyway, um, don't worry about that. I'll, I'll have everything for you on my blog. So I have some tear tape here 
and I'm going to adhere it on the ribbon. This is the greatest thing about tear tape, that it sticks to ribbon very, very well. So I'm going to rip some off and then take off the release paper just like that. And if I recall, this is what, six and a half inches. So let me put this at three and a quarter inches. I use my tabletop a lot, you guys. Um, yeah, that looks good. And then I can just adhere that along. That color is beautiful with this paper. So now all you have to do is tie this in a bow or a knot. I like to tie it closer to the front myself uh, just so that it doesn't get squashed when you put it in the bookshelf because that's where these babies are going. They're gonna have, you know, um, birthday card and whatever kind of card in here. I make, might make a few more. There we go. Um, I gotta say that this ribbon is quite dreamy. It ties itself beautifully. All right, you guys, so that is my share for January, well, the year 2023. Um, hope you liked that, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.